What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea News Transfer News video regarding this elusive striker that Chelsea are... So I was about to say striking? That's not right. Chasing. Pursuing. This kind of this player to come in, fill a void, help Tammy Abraham out, basically score goals, convert chances. Chelsea coach Frank Lampard is sounding like a broken record now. He's admitted it himself how Chelsea are wasting chances. He's saying in all forms of media how basically Chelsea need to strengthen. They were hamstrung in the summer and now they have the opportunity to remedy that. And not only that, in between they found new frailties which they can also remedy. He's pretty much been saying, we need a striker, we need a striker, we need a striker. News outlets in Italy have brought forward Christoph Piatek, which we're going to get into in just a moment. But before we do, a reminder to you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so, please do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, like the video to help me out. All right, let's get into it. So Chelsea squeezed past Hull City in the FA Cup, seeing them through the next round to the next round. Yes, Michy Batshuayi scored his goal. It wasn't a great goal, and to be honest, he wasn't superb in this match either. Frank Lampard came out, made the same noises to multiple news outlets post-match, sort of reiterating how Chelsea need to strengthen in the attacking areas. We know Chelsea's defensive woes or uh, defensive targets, I'll say, have been put on hold for the moment, as has any desires to buy wingers. Really, they just want this striker. Of course, they've been linked with Moussa Dembele, but he's come out recently and said, you know what, guys, I think I'm staying this winter. Chelsea have also been heavily linked to Edison Cavani of late and have been in Paris trying to negotiate a six-month loan deal for the Uruguayan centre-forward to see them over the line this season and secure top four. If you haven't seen my previous videos on Cavani, I suggest you go check that out to get the more, to get the more, to get more detail on what's going on there. But it kind of was a proposal that would suit Chelsea uh, PSG, probably Atletico Madrid as well, and Cavani, but it does look like that's a difficult one to pull off. It might not be completely dead in the water, but it looks like Atletico might get him this January. If not, he'll just see out the six months and go there in the summer. So, where does that leave Chelsea? I mean, I've been talking about it lately, right, what strikers are left? Frank Lampard is clearly desperate for an additional man up front in the centre forward position, and the two names that were sort of floating around as potential suitors were Luka Jovic, maybe on the loan from Real Madrid while he's not getting, in, getting any game time out there, and also Christoph Piatek. Now, Piatek has today, or yesterday, or maybe today, been linked to Chelsea, and it's reported in Italy that Chelsea have actually made a bid for the Polish centre forward. So Piatek exploded at Genoa, amazing conversion rate, was a man on fire in Europe in terms of centre forwards shining, got a move to AC Milan and basically has had a torrid, difficult time there, but I don't want to put that too much on his shoulders because that club in many ways has been a basket case recently, so it can't really be a, re a true reflection on the striker. So the reports are people are in for him this January to sign the young Polish strikers. Right, so Sky Italia's Luca Marchetti claims that earlier on Sunday, Spurs have been back in for him. They've reopened dialogue for Piatek and there have been new contacts with Milan regarding the Polish international. Right, so things get complicated, interesting and maybe exciting for Chelsea fans here. Transfer source Louis Gerardi. Gerardi has provided a shock piece of information though. He cites that Sky Italia reports claiming that Spurs are back in talks over a possible deal, but he adds that Milan are asking for more than the 27 million euros <laughs> than the 27 million euros that Chelsea have already bid. So sources in Italy, Sky Italia, have claimed Chelsea have made a bid for Christoph Piatek for 27 million euros, which is just over, I think, 22 million pounds, which is a reasonable sum of money, especially considering how much Chelsea should have in their transfer kitty at the moment. 22 million pounds for a backup striker is about right. That's less than what Chelsea played for Michy Batshuayi. I think Batshuayi was like 32 million, maybe 10 more. So Chelsea are in for Christoph Piatek. And, and you fancy they'd have more money to spend than Tottenham Hotspur. Granted, Tottenham Hotspur need him more because they just don't have a recognised centre forward where Chelsea do have two free ones on his way out and Olivier Giroud potentially, but Spurs are in a really, really tough jam at the moment, have no proper recognised centre forward to play down the middle, so 
However, if he comes in today, he'll know he'll be starting until Harry Kane's fit. But then when Harry Kane comes back, he'll be like 100% getting benched. Whereas if I came to Chelsea, performed really well, Frank Lampard seems to run a meritocracy. So if I'm outscoring Tammy, I just play instead of Tammy Abraham. Right, so let's give you some information on the striker. He is 24 years old, perfect age. He's obviously a Poland international. He's a number nine, we know he's a striker. Currently playing for AC Milan. But he's having a very difficult time in Italy at the moment in the Serie A club AC Milan because in 14 appearances, he has four goals and no assists, which is pretty dismal. And he's only popping off 2.7 shots, which sounds like a lot, but for him, it's not a lot. And I'll tell you why. Because before Milan bought him last season, when he played for Genoa and exploded, in just 18 appearances, he scored 13 goals. 13 goals in 18 appearances is an elite return, I'm sure you know. And at that limited time, playing for, he's playing for Genoa as well, can we just get that straight? He wasn't playing for an elite Serie A club, he's playing for Genoa, so if he was playing for a club that creates loads and loads of chances, you'd back him to score more. He's just a goal scorer, he has no assists in that time at Genoa, just goals. So he's a fox in the box, who scored given us 7.2 rating, which is really, really good. And he was popping off 4.1 shots per game. He wins quite a lot of aerial duels as well, which is really important up in the centre forward position. To be honest, for the money, for 22 million pounds, say they want more than that, let's say theoretically 25 million pounds. That could be a really smart purchase for Chelsea, especially in a January window. They want someone who's just used to putting the ball in the back of the net and can do that and is at a good age and won't cost the world and probably would be happy being like a sort of rotational striker, like second striker, but with the ability to challenge the first striker. I mean, you know? I remember last season where people were absolutely waxing lyrical about Christoph Piatek. Sure, it has shades of the sort of Andrea Bellotti vibes, you know, when he was playing for Torino and went a bit quiet. But at the same time, you had really reputable you know, European sports journalists, football pundits, and people who know their stuff when it comes to European football, saying really positive stuff about this centre forward. The likes of people like James Horncastle and Andy Brassel, these people who write about football, follow football very closely in Italy, can say, this guy is very, very good. He obviously did a Serie A move. It's obviously not a sidestep, Genoa to AC Milan, and they've had big ambitions, Milan of late, probably play him quite well but it was the wrong move ultimately. Milan look like they're in trouble still and they struggled to change philosophies and really there's no stability there. So if he came to a club, say like Chelsea, and said, look, play in the centre forward position, float a little bit around the box, the ball's gonna come into the 18 yard box, the ball is gonna come into the six yard box, do what you do instinctively, do what you do best, score goals. Now for me, really, that sounds perfect because like I said, he's an instinctive goal scorer. It's not gonna be a massive monetary, like financial risk. And you could still keep Batshuayi knocking around and really it would be Giroud out, Christoph Piatek in, have a go, play in these games, come on, start in other games. Just see what you can do, man. Before Milan bought him, I thought this guy's gonna go to a massive, massive club. But obviously AC Milan are a massive club, but I mean a massive successful club at the moment. You know what I mean? And to see him move there, I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. And obviously things have gone wrong since. Kind of in a weird, peculiar way, that might work out for Chelsea really well because his price would have come right down. They would have had, they'd now have got an inclination to sell him. And then if he can regain form at Chelsea Football Club like he did at Genoa, then that would make complete sense. Remember, he's strong, he's physical, he's young, he's experienced now. And pff, to be honest, man, it could be a really good buy for Chelsea Football Club, in my opinion. And even if he just does remain the second striker, I, I really like Michy Batshuayi. I think he's a good finisher, but he's had so much time at Chelsea now and under different coaches that, you know, I'm not saying it's run its course because he's still quite young and he's an international and he's a good finisher, but it never looked like he really was that super dependable number two. Sure, he scored big goals, you know, in Ajax and against Brom and against Atletico Madrid. He's got those iconic goals. He's a good person to have around. But when you really just need the numbers and dependability at the highest level, 
you just think it's time to try someone else, do you know what I mean? And Chris Christoph Piazek could be that man. And let's be honest, let's be honest, man. It's at the point now, we know Chelsea like to do business right at the end of transfer windows, and we know that Frank Lampard absolutely wants to bring someone in at this point, but I don't want to say beggars can't be choosers, but really at this point, you've got to look around and be like, yeah, you know what, if he really can just even offer a little bit of help towards the rest of the season to secure top four, so Chelsea can bring in their proper big summer targets uh, before next season because you'll need Champions League football for the money and the sort of, you know, allure to bring these players in. Then I say go for Christoph Piatek. Even up to like 30 million pounds, in my opinion, the guy's used to scoring goals when given enough chances in a settled team. It could work at Chelsea, yet yeah, it's not the biggest gamble in the world. Like I said, he's gonna be like possibly 10 million pounds cheaper than what we paid for Michy Batshuayi. And that was before the market went crazy. So think about that. Anyway, I wanna get your guys' thoughts and opinions on this matter. What do you think? Do you think Chelsea are or oh, this is a good option for Chelsea. Would you go in for Christoph Piotek? Do you think he could score goals in this Chelsea side? Or would you rather like not sign anyone? Wait till the summer? Do you think Chelsea have a chance of going in for someone like Luka Jovic? That would be an exciting loan signing. But I think a purchase, a player that knows they're at Chelsea, that want to build something at Chelsea, might help the club's mentality or the player's mentality to perform well at the club if you catch my drift. Anyway, give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I'm really interested in hearing that. If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like this video. Why not subscribe to the channel if you're indeed new to the channel? You can also follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter, at Football Yannick. I was gonna say at, at Football Yannick, but that sounds weird. Instagram and Twitter, at Football Yannick. That's it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby